मधुर मधुरम स्वीट उपभोक्त Rucham luster swam on half of the covered tutim luster here here the diyam related to him prakatayan manifesting sa he deva the supreme personality of godhead chaitanya akriti having the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu ati tara great he saha unto us Krupayatu may he show his mercy. Lord Krishna desired to taste the limitless nectarian mellows of the love of one of his multitudes of loving damsels, Sri Radha, and so he has assumed the form of Lord Chaitanya. He has tasted that love while hiding his own dark complexion with her effulgent yellow color. May that Lord Chaitanya confer upon us his grace. Texts fifty-one and fifty-two are from the Stava Mala of Sri Rupa Goswami. <clears throat> Now, text number forty-eight. Ab Brahman era hetu kaila dharmasthana paramukhya hetu kahi. Bhava Brahman era of accepting the mood hetu the reason kaila deed dharma religion. Apana establishing Tara of that Mukhya principle here to reason. Kahi I say, Shuna, please hear. Sarva Jana Ibrahim. To accept ecstatic love is the main reason he appeared and re-established the religious system for this age. I shall now explain that reason. Everyone, please listen. मूल हेतु आगे श्लोके का कैलाभास ये भी कई ऐसे श्लोके अर्थ प्रकार मूल हेतु डी रूट कॉज आगे इन डी बिगिनिंग श्लोके रह ऑफ डी वर्स कई लगे आभास इट ये भी नाउ तही आई शुड स्पीक से ही डेट श्लोके रह ऑफ डी वर्स अर्थ मीनिंग प्रकाश मैनिफेस्टेशन Having first given hints about the words describing the principal reason why the Lord appeared, now I shall manifest its full meaning. Radha Krishna pranay vikrutir ladini shakti vasmad ekatmana abhi pura deha vedam gato gato chaitanya kham prakatam aduna tadram chakyamatam. राधा बावजूदी सुवलितम नमः कृष्ण स्वरूपम राधा श्रीमती राधा रानी कृष्ण ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण प्रणय ऑफ लव विकृति ही डी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लादिनी शक्ति प्लेजर पोटेंशियल अस्मात फ्रॉम दिस एक आत्मानो बोध सेमिनार अभी ऑल दो भूमि ऑन अर्थ पूरा From beginningless time, they have been them separate forms. That the object, that this Chaitanya Akhyam, known as Chaitanya, Prakritam, 
प्रकटम मैनिफेस्ट अधुना नाउ तद्वयम द टू ऑफ देम च एंड अज्ञात इनिटी आत्म ऑप्टेंड राधा ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी भाव मूड द्युति द लस्टर सुवलितम हु इज अडॉन विद नौमी आफर द अवेयरनेस कृष्ण स्वरूपम टू हिम uh to him who is identical with sri krishna the loving affairs of sri radha and krishna are transcendental manifestations of the lord's internal pleasure giving potency although radha krishna are one in their identity they separated themselves eternally now these two transcendental identities are again united in the form of sri krishna chaitanya i bow down to him who has manifested himself With the sentiment and complexion of Shri Mati Radha Rani, although he is Krishna himself, this text this text is from the diary of Shri Sarup Damodar Goswami. It appears as the fifth of the first fourteen verses of Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita. <clears throat> Verse number one four fifty one. Radha Krishna ekatman puhi dehatari. राधा कृष्ण राधा एंड कृष्ण एक वन आत्मा सेल्फ बॉडी दे एंजॉय रस द मेलोज ऑफ लव आस्वादन करी राधा एंड कृष्ण आर वन एंड द सेम बट दे हैव टू बॉडीज as they enjoy each other testing the mellows of love the two transcendentalist radha and krishna are a puzzle to materialist the about description of radha and krishna from the diary of shila sarup damodar goswami is a condensed explanation but one needs great spiritual insight to understand the mystery of these two personalities one is enjoying in two shri krishna is the potent factor and shri radha rani is the internal potency According to Vedanta philosophy, there is no difference between the potent and potency. They are identical. We cannot differentiate between one and the other any more than we can separate fire from heat. Everything in the absolute is inconceivable in relative existence. Therefore, in relative cognizance, it is very difficult to assimilate the truth of the oneness between the potent and the potency. The philosophy of inconceivable oneness and difference, propounded by Lord Chaitanya, is the only source of understanding for such intricacies of transcendence. In the Radha Rani is the internal potency of Sri Krishna. She eternally intensifies the pleasure of Sri Krishna. Impersonalists cannot understand this without the help of a Mahabharat devotee. The very name Radha suggests that she is eternally the topmost mistress. of the comforts of sri krishna as such she is the medium transmitting the living entity service to sri krishna devotees in vrindavan therefore seek the mercy of shrimati radha rani in order to be recognized as loving servitors of sri krishna lord chaitanya mahaprabhu personally approached the fallen condition souls of the iron age to deliver the highest principle of transcendental relationships With the Lord, the activities of Lord Chaitanya are primarily in the role of the pleasure-giving portion of His internal potency. The absolute personality of God and Sri Krishna is the omnipotent form of transcendental existence. Knowledge and bliss in full. His internal potency is exhibited first as Sat, exist or existence. Or in other words, as the portion that expands the existence, existence function of the Lord, the same potency while displaying full knowledge is called chit or samvik, which expands the transcendental forms of the Lord. Another the same potency while playing as a pleasure-giving medium is known as ladini or the transcendental blissful potency. The Lord manifests His internal potency in three transcendental divisions.
सही दुई एक चैतन्य घोषाय रसा स्वादित दो है आए लाए कठाए सही दीज दुई छु एक वर एबे नाव चैतन्य गोसाई और चैतन्य महाप्रभु रस मेलो आस्वादित तो टेस्ट दोहे तो टू हैला है बिकम एक ठान वर्ड पॉइंट नाउ टू एंजॉय रस दे हैव अपीयर्ड इन वन बॉडी एज लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु इति लागे आगे करी तार विवरण जाए के हरे गौरे महिमा कथन इति लागे फॉर दिस आगे फर्स्ट करी आई शुड डू तार ऑफ दैट विवरण डिस्क्रिप्शन जाए के फ्रॉम व्हिच हायर देयर इज गौरे ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु महिमा द ग्लोरी कथन रिलेटिव देयरफॉर आई शुड फर्स्ट डिलिनिएट द पोजीशन ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्ण From that description, the glory of Lord Chaitanya will be known. Radhika hai na Krishna ra pranaya vikar sarupa shakti ladi na majar. Radhika, Shrimati Radha Rani hai na is Krishna ra of Lord Krishna pranaya kar transformation of love sarupa shakti personal energy ladi ni. नाम राधिका इज़ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ़ कृष्णा लव शी इज़ इटरनल एनर्जी लादिनी कराय कृष्ण आनंद स्वादान लादिनी द्वारा करे भक्ति रोषण लादिनी द लादिनी एनर्जी कराय कृष्ण इन लॉर्ड कृष्ण आनंद आस्वादन टेस्टिंग ऑफ ब्लस लादिनी रथ द्वारा बाय द प्लेजर पोटेंसी करे डस भक्तेर ऑफ द डिवोटीज पोषण नरिश दैट लादिनी एनर्जी गिव्स कृष्णा प्लेजर एंड नरिशेस हिज डिवोटीज श्री जीव गोस्वामी हैज इलैबोरेटेड डिस्कस द लादिनी पोटेंसी इन हिज प्रीति संदर्भ ही सेज दैट द वेदस क्लियरली स्टेट्स ओनली डिवोशनल सर्विस कैन लीड वन टू द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड इट Only devotional service can help a devotee meet the supreme Lord face to face. The supreme personality of Godhead is attracted by devotional service, and as such, the ultimate supremacy of Vedic knowledge rests in knowing the science of devotional service. What is the particular attraction that makes the supreme Lord enthusiastic to accept devotional service, and what is the nature of such service? The Vedic scriptures inform us that the supreme personality of Godhead, the absolute truth, is. self sufficient and that maya nations can never influence him at all as such the potency that overcomes the supreme must be purely spiritual such a potency cannot be anything of the material manifestation the bliss enjoyed by the supreme personality of godhead cannot be of material composition like the impersonalist conception of the bliss of brahma devotional service is reciprocation between two and therefore it cannot be located simply within oneself therefore the bliss of self realization brahmanand cannot be equated with devotion service supreme personality of god has three kinds of internal potency namely the ladini shakti or pleasure potency the sandini shakti or existential potency and the samvish shakti or cognitive potency in the vishnu purana the lord is addressed as follows oh lord you are the support of everything The three attributes, Ladini, Sandini, and Samvit, exist in you as one spiritual energy. But the material modes, which cause happiness, misery, and mixtures of the two, do not exist in you, for you have no material qualities. Ladini is the personal manifestation of the blissfulness of the supreme personality of God, by which he enjoys pleasure. Because the pleasure potency is perpetually present in the supreme Lord, the theory of the impersonalist that the Lord appears in the material mode of goodness cannot be accepted. The impersonalist conclusion is against the Vedic version that the Lord possesses a transcendental pleasure potency. When the pleasure potency of the supreme personality of Godhead is exhibited by His grace. in the person of a devotee 
that manifestation is called love of God. Love of God is an epithet for the pleasure potency of the Lord. Therefore, the devotional service reciprocated within the Lord and his devotee is an exhibition of the transcendental pleasure potency of the Lord. The potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead that always enriches him with transcendental bliss is not much in The Shankarites have accepted it as such because they are ignorant of the identity of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and his pleasure potency. Those ignorant persons cannot understand the distinction between the impersonal spiritual bliss and the variegatedness of the spiritual pleasure potency. The Larini potency gives the Lord all transcendental pleasure, and the Lord bestows such a potency upon his pure devotee. Satchitananda Purna Krishna Raswarup Ekaichi Shakti Tandra Dharati Narup Satchit Ananda, eternity, knowledge, and bliss, Purna, full, Krishna of Lord Krishna, Swarupa, own form, Ekai, one. Chish Shakti, spiritual energy, Tandra of him, Dhare, manifest, Tina, three, Rupa, forms. But Krishna's body is eternal, Sat, full of knowledge, Chit, full of bliss, Ananda. His one spiritual energy manifests three forms. Anandam Shelarini, Sadam Shesandini, Chidam Shesamgita, Jare, Gyanagarimani. Sattva Dayona Santi She Yatrana Lakrata Guna Sa Shuddha Sarva Shuddhebhya Umana Adya Prasidhati Shuddha Sattam Tavadama Shantam Tapo Mayam Dvastara Jastamaskam Maya Mayoyam Gunasam Pravaho Navidyate Agrahanam Vandha Ananda Amshi, in the bliss portion, Ladini, the pleasure potency, the pleasure, the pleasure energy, Sad Amshi, in the eternal portion, Satini, the existence expanding energy, Chid Amshi, in the cognizant portion, Sambit, the full energy of knowledge, Jare, which Jnanakari as knowledge, Mani, I accept. Ladini is the aspect of bliss, Sandini of eternal existence, and Samvit of cognizance, which is also accepted as knowledge. In his thesis, Bhagavad Sandarbha 103, Srila Jiva Goswami explains the potencies of the Lord as follows. The transcendental potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead by which he maintains his existence is called Sandini. The transcendental potency by which he knows himself and causes others to know him is called Samvit. The transcendental potency by which he possesses transcendental bliss and causes his devotees to have bliss is called Ladini. The total exhibition of this potency is called Vishuddha Sattva. And this platform of spiritual variegatedness is displayed even in the material world when the Lord appears here. The pastimes and manifestations of the Lord in the material world are therefore not at all material. They belong to the pure transcendental state. The Bhagavad Gita confirms that anyone who understands the transcendental nature of the Lord's appearance, activities and disappearance becomes eligible for freedom from material bondage upon quitting the present material tabernacle. He can enter the spiritual kingdom to associate with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and reciprocate the la Ladini potency in transactions with Him and the Lord. In the mundane mode of goodness, there are tinges of passion and ignorance. Therefore, mundane mood goodness being mixed is called Vishuddha Sattva. But the transcendental variegatedness of Vishuddha Sattva is completely free from all mundane qualities. Vishuddha Sattva is therefore the proper atmosphere in which to experience the personality of Godhead and his transcendental pastime. Spiritual variegatedness is eternally independent of material conditions and is non-different from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, both being absolute. 
The Lord and His devotees simultaneously pursue the Lagani potency directly by the power of the Samvik potency. The material modes of nature control the conditioned souls, but the Supreme Personality of God is never influenced by these modes. As all Vedic literature directly and indirectly corroborates, Lord Krishna Himself says in the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 11.25.12. Satvam Rajas Tama Iti Guna Jeevasya Naiva Me Material modes of goodness, passion and ignorance are connected with the conditioned souls but never with Me, the Supreme Personality of God. The Vishnu Puran confirms this as follows. Satva Dayona Santri She Yatta Pratruta Gunam Sar Shuddha Sarva Shuddha Vya Puman Adya Prasidatu The Supreme Personality of God it. Vishnu is beyond the three qualities, goodness, passion and ignorance. No material qualities exist in him. May that original person, Narayan, who is situated in a completely transcendental position, be pleased with us. In the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Indra Pranis Krishna as follows. Shuddha Sattvam Tabadham Shantam Tapo Mayam Dvastarajastavaskam Maya Mayoyam my dear Lord, your abode is Vishuddha Sattva, always undisturbed by the material qualities and activities there are in transcendental loving service. Goodness, austerity, and penance of the devotees enhance such activities, which are always free from the contamination of passion and ignorance. Material qualities cannot touch you under any circumstances. When not manifested, the modes of material nature are said to be in goodness. When they are externally manifested and active in producing varieties of material existence, they are said to be in passion. And when there is a lack of activity and variegatedness, they are said to be in ignorance. In other words, the pensive mood is goodness, activity in passion. And inactivity, activity is passion, and inactivity is ignorance. Above all these mundane qualitative manifestations is Vishuddha Sattva. When it is predominated by the Sandini potency, it is perceivable as the existence um, of all that. When predominated by the Samvik potency, it is perceived as the knowledge in transcendence. And when predominated by the Radini potency, it is perceived as the most confidential love of Godhead. Shuddha Sattva, the spontaneous manifestation of these three in one, is the main feature of the kingdom of God. The absolute truth is therefore the substance of reality. Eternally manifestation, eternally manifest in three energies. The manifestation of the man, the manifestation of the internal energy of the Lord is the inconceivable variegated spiritual world and the manifestation of the marginal potent energy comprises the living entities and the manifestation of the external potency is the material cosmos. Therefore the absolute truth includes these four principles. The supreme personality of God in himself, his internal energy, his marginal energy and his external energy. The form of the Lord and the expressions of His forms as Swamru and Vaiva Prakash are directly the enjoyers of the internal energy, which is the external exhibitor of the spiritual world, the most confidential of the manifestation of energy. The external manifestation, the material energy, provides the covering bodies of the conditioned living entities from Brahma down to the insignificant end. This covering energy is manifested under the three modes of material nature and appreciated in various ways by living entities in both the higher and lower forms of life. Each of the three divisions of the internal potency, the Sandini, Sambit and Nari energies influence one of the external potencies by which the conditioned souls are conducted. Such influence manifests the three qualitative modes of material nature. Proving definitely that the living entities, the marginal potency, are externally, are eternally servitors of the Lord 
and are therefore controlled by either the internal or the external potency. Ladini sannini samve toye ka sarvasans samsthito ladatabaka galadatabakari mishra toyino gunavar jipe ladini pleasure potency sannini existence potency samvet knowledge potency toye in you ek one sarvasans who are the basis of all things. Lada pleasure, tapa and misery. Tari causing mishra, a mixture of the two. Toi in you. Now, 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 not Buddha Varjita, who are without the three modes of material nature. Oh Lord, you are the support of everything. The three attributes, Adhini, Sandhini, and Sambhi, exist in you as one spiritual energy. But the material modes which cause happiness, misery, and mixtures of the two do not exist in you, for you have no material qualities. This text is from Vishnu Puran 1.12.69. Sandhi Nira Saramsha Shuddha Satvanam Bhagavanir Satahaya Jahate Vishram. Sandhi Nira, the existence potency, Sara essence. Amsha portion, Shuddha Sattva, Shuddha Sattva, pure existence, Nama, name. Bhagavan air of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Satta, the existence, Haya is Jahate in which Vishrama, the resting place. The essential portion of the Sandini potency is Shuddha Sattva. Lord Krishna's existence rests on. Mata Pita Sthana Gruha Shayara Shayasanara Esava Krishnera Shuddha Sakera Vikara Mata Mother, Pita Father, Sthana Place, Gruha House, Shayasana, Breeds and Seeds are and Esava of this Krishnera of Lord Krishna, Shuddha Satvera of the Shuddha Sattva, Vikara Transformations. Krishna's mother, father, abode, house, bedding, seats, and so on are all transformations of Suddha Sattva. Lord Krishna's father, mother, household affairs are all displayed in the same Vishuddha Sattva existence. A living entity situated in the status of pure goodness can understand the form, quality, and other features of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna consciousness begins on the platform of pure goodness. Although there is a faint realization of Krishna at first, Krishna is actually realized as Vasudev, the absolute proprietor of omnipotence or the prime predominating deity of all potences. When the living entity is situated in Vishuddha Sattva, transcendental to the three material modes of nature, he can pursue the form, quality and other features of the Supreme Personality of Godhead through his service attitude. The status of pure goodness is the platform of understanding for the Supreme Lord is always in spiritual existence. Krishna is always all spiritual. Aside from the parents of the personality of Godhead, all other paraphernalia of his existence is also essentially a manifestation of Sandini Shakti or a transformation of Krishna. To make this more clear, it may be said that the Sandini Shakti or the internal potency maintains and manifests all the relegated things of the spiritual world. In the kingdom of God, the Lord's servants and maid servants, his concerts, his father and mother, and everything else are all transformations of the spiritual existence of Sandini Shakti. The existential Sandini Shakti in the external potency similarly expands all the variegatedness of the material cosmos from which we can have a glimpse of the spiritual world. Sattvam Vishuddham Vasudeva Shabditam Yadiyate Tatra Puman Apavritam Satyeja Tasimin Bhagavan Vasudeva Diyadoksha Jome Manasavidiyate Sattvam Existence Vishuddham Pure Vasudeva Shabditam named Vasudeva Yet from which Iyate appears, Tatra, in that Puman, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Apavrataha, without any covering, Satve, 
in good days. So, uh, this means that Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vasudeva, Vasudeva, he certainly, Adokshaja, beyond the senses, may my manasa by the mind, vidya is procured. The condition of pure goodness, Shuddha Sattva, in which the Supreme Personality of Godhead is revealed without any covering, is called Vasudeva. In that pure state, the Supreme Godhead, who is beyond the material senses and is known as Vasudeva, is pursued by mind. This text from Srimad Bhagavatam, spoken by Lord Shiva, when he condemned Daksha, the father of Sati, as an opponent of Vishnu, confirms beyond a doubt that Lord Krishna, his name, his fame, his qualities, and everything in connection with his paraphernalia exists in the Sandini Shakti of the Lords in general potency. Krishna Bhagavata Jnana Sambhitera Sar Brahma Jnana Dita Sabhattara Parivar Krishna in Krishna Bhagavata of the quality of being the original Supreme Personality of Godhead Jnana Knowledge Sambhitera of the Knowledge Potency Sara the essence Brahma Jnana Knowledge of Brahman Adika and so on Sabha, all, Tara of that, Parivara, dependence. The essence of the Samvet potency is knowledge. And that the Supreme Personality of God is Lord Krishna. The essence of the Samvet potency is knowledge that the Supreme Personality of God is Lord Krishna. All other kinds of knowledge, such as the knowledge of Brahman, are its components. The activities of the Samhit Shakti produce the effect of cognition. But the Lord and the living entities are cognizant. The Supreme Personality of God has full knowledge of everything, everywhere. And therefore there are no hindrances to his cognition. He can have knowledge merely by glancing over an object. Whereas innumerable impediments block the cognition of ordinary living beings. The cognition of the living beings has three divisions, direct knowledge, direct knowledge and perverted knowledge. Since perception of material objects by the mundane senses, such as the eye, ear, nose and hand, all this produces definitely perverted knowledge. This illusion is the presentation of the material energy which is influenced by the Sambit Shakti in a perverted manner. Negative cognition of an object beyond the reach of sense perception is the way of indirect knowledge, which is not altogether imperfect by which, but which, by, but which produces only fragmental knowledge in the form of impersonal spiritual realization and monism. But when the summit factor of cognition is enlightened by the Lajini potency, of the same internal energy. They work together and only thus can one attain knowledge of the personality of God. The Samhit Shakti should be maintained in that state. Material knowledge and indirect spiritual real, uh, indirect spiritual knowledge are byproducts of the Samhit Shakti. Ladinira Sara Prema Prema Sara Bhav Bhavera Paramakashtan Nama Mahabhav Ladini, the, of the pleasure potency, Sara, the essence, Prema, love of God, Prema, Sara, the essence of such a love, Bhava, emotion, Bhavera, of emotions, Paramakashta, the highest limit, Nama, named, Mahabhava, Mahabhava, the essence of the Ladini potency is love of God, the essence of love of God is emotion, Bhava, and the ultimate development of emotion is Mahava. The product of the Ladini Shakti is love of Godhead, which has two divisions, namely pure love of Godhead and adulterated love of Godhead. Only when the Ladini Shakti emanating 
only when the ladri shakti emanates from sri krishna and is bestowed upon the living being to attract him does the living being become a pure lover of god but when the same ladri shakti is adulterated by the external material energy and emanates from the living being it does not attract krishna on the contrary the living being becomes attracted by the glamour of the material energy at that time instead of becoming mad with love of god it the living being becomes mad after material sense enjoyment and because of his association with the qualitative modes of material nature he is captivated by its interactions of distressful and happy feelings महाभाव स्वरूप श्री राधा ठाकुर महाभाव महाभाव स्वरूप श्री राधा ठाकुर श्रीमती राधा राय सर्व गुण ऑफ ऑल गुड क्वालिटी कृष्ण कांता ऑफ द लवर्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण शिरोमणि क्राउन जोर श्री राधा ठाकुर इज द एम्बॉडिमेंट ऑफ महाभाव she is the repository of all good qualities and the crest jewel among all the lovely consorts of lord krishna the unadulterated action of the lavini shakti is displayed in the dealings of the damsels of raja and shrimati radharani who is the topmost participant in the in the transcendental group the essence of the lavini shakti is love of god it essence of love of god it is bhava or transcendental sentiment and the highest pitch of that bhava is called mahabhava shrimati radharani is the personified embodiment of these three aspects of transcendental consciousness she is therefore the highest principle in love of god and is the supreme lovable object of sri krishna तयोरपि तयोरपि राधिका राधिका श्रीमती राधिका श्रीमती राधा रानी सर्वथा इन एवरी वे अधिका ग्रेटर महाभाव स्वरूप द फॉर्म ऑफ महाभाव इम इज वन गुण विथ गुड क्वालिटीज अति वर्य सी बेस्ट ऑफ ऑल of this to gopi radharani and chandravali hmm. shrimati radharani is superior in all respects hmm. is actually explained here hmm. she is the embodiment of mahabhav and she surpasses all in good qualities hmm. so here actually there is a competition between radharani and chandravali hmm. So Param Guru Dev says that we are in the party of the most worshipful Shrimati Radhika, and our special service is to arrange her meeting with Krishna. On one occasion, Sri Krishna went to meet with Chandravali in her kutya. Radha Sakhi's made up some excuse to extricate him from there, and they brought him to Sri Radha's kutya at Sri Radha Kund. There, in front of Kundeshwari Shrimati Radhika, he was made to write, "I am a servant of." I am the servant of Radhika. I will never leave Radha ji and go elsewhere. Then he had to sign this declaration. A few days later, though Sri Krishna, compelled by nature, neglected this plea and again went to Chandra Vati Kunja. Radha Sakhi, seeing that Sri Krishna was so opposed to Sri Urdhava um, Nishar Radhika, filed a court case against him. Krishna was not present at the proceedings, and Radha ji Sakhi is winning the case. He should have court decree with which he was bound to comply. By means of a warrant, they arranged his sweet meeting with Shivaji Radhika. Hmm. So such wonderful pastimes take place just because there is some opposition, semblance of opposition. Hmm. Hmm. So um, basically, hmm, uh, 
कामरूपा रागात्मक प्रेम इज ऑफ टू काइंड्स संभव इच्छा मय तत्व भाव इच्छा मय रति ऑफ नाइक का सजेस्ट में राधिका चंद्रावली एंड श्याम अलाउंड टू मीट कृष्ण फॉर इज प्लेजर इज कॉल्ड संभोग इच्छा सो दे डिरेक्टली वॉन्ट टू मीट विथ कृष्ण दैट इज कॉल्ड संभोग इच्छा मय तासाम भाव माधुर्य माधुर्युथेश्वर राधा चंद्रावली एंड श्यामल श्री कृष्ण इज कॉल्ड संभोग इच्छा मय सर्विंग द डिवाइन कपल इन द मूड ऑफ मंजर इज लाइक श्री रूप एंड रति इंक्लेशन इज टू वर्ड श्रीमती राधिका राधा सिंहाधिका इज कॉल्ड सतत भाव इच्छा मय सो बेसिकली श्री गुरुदेव ऑल्सो टेल्स दैट पद्मा शी इज द सखी ऑफ चंद्रावती Once Padma and her other sakis somehow alerted Sri Krishna to Chandravali's school, the living Sri Mati Radhika distress in a state of extreme separation. The clever thinker is, I was skillfully brought him from there and submitted him to Sri Mati. Radhika Radha's mood of patriness was then set in motion. First she forbade Krishna to touch her. Then she exhibited feigned anger and cast a crooked sidelong glance at him. Sri Radha is the embodiment of Mahabhav. And the only function of Mahabhav is to incite happiness in Krishna's heart. Here, Madana ke Mahabhav incited countless terrible trials in the heart. Till the time of the Murti, Sri Krishna, the silencing is boastfulness. Sri Krishna becomes pure submerged in a swoon of bliss, pierced by the arrows of Shri Mati's crooked sidelong glance. On a battlefield, a hero faints when struck by an arrow. And his bow, arrow, crown, clothes, ornaments, everything becomes scattered. Similarly, in this battle of Cupid, the strike of one arrow-like glance makes the flute fall from the hand, the peacock feather crown fall from the head, and the yellow cloth fall from the body of the transcendental young Cupid. And he faints. Um, that person whose crooked sidelong glances strike the Vajra Sundar is. Like Cupid's arrows, has now fallen to the ground only by Radha's sidelong glance and see who will as Cupid fall unconscious. That flute, by whose very sweet sound hundreds and hundreds of Vrajas Sundaris become stricken with restlessness, like deer struck by arrows, now falls to the ground from a trembling hand. Madhava's peacock feather crown, which is an emblem of the pastimes of Vraja, and which enamors the minds of the poor devotees. Now rolls in the dust as the result of Radha's great sidelong glance. That yellow cloud, Pitambar, which is like a lightning bolt from a fresh thunder cloud, emanates splendors, beauty, and upon seeing which the Vajra Ramanis gave up the honor of their lineage, has now also fallen down. This condition of the Tirtha Vik Nayak is called the sidelong glance of the Shiradika. So Vamshi Vibhushi, so Prabhupada Saraswati Pada has written this. Um, so you see that, um, but actually, um, all the gopis they felt great separation. Even Chandravat, Krishna was going to go to Mathura. So Sri Krishna is going to Madhupuri. Hearing this, Sri Krishna is going to Madhupuri. Hearing this, the lustra of Badra's daughter's face. And the lotus faces of the other tatastha gopis withered and became dejected. Shamal and other surut paksha gopis dresses, belts, and hair so on loosen. In samadhi, Chandravali, who is a vipaksha, began to see Sri Gopita in the heart, which was lost in meditation. The crown jewel of all the other gopis, Mahabhav, Vatishimiti, Radhika, and other swapaksha gopis like Lalita and Vishakha. Other beloveds of Sri Krishna envision in their hearts their prana priyata, various prem vilas, behaviors, feelings, laughter, glances, and so forth. 
then overwhelmed by the deep pain of separation from him, they began to weep. So you see that, um, so Srila Gurudev is telling this that, um, in Lalit Mahadeva, Srila Rupa Goswami gives the following narration. In one kalpa, Sri Radha was so unable to tolerate the affliction of separation from Krishna after he had left for Mathura that she jumped into the Jamuna. Jamuna, the daughter of Surya Dev, then took Sri Radha to her father. Surya Dev entrusted her to his friend and Satrajit, who was childless, and told him her name is Satyabhama. Consider her to be your daughter. Later upon the instruction of Narad, King Satrajit sent Satyabhama to Sri Krishna's dinner quarters in Dwarka. The wife of Surya, Sadhya, was the daughter of Vishwakarma. Through her father, Sadhya had previously created the captivating Navabrindavan for Satyabhama, Sri Radha, in Dwarka. Rukmini and Sri Krishna's principal queen kept the extraordinarily uh, charming and beautiful Satyabhama hidden in Navavrindavan so that Krishna would not see her. In due course, however, Satyabhama did meet Krishna and the secret that Satyabhama is actually Radha and Rukmini is actually Chandravati was revealed. Therefore, Rukmini arranged for Satyabhama's marriage to Sri Krishna. At the time of the wedding, Yesho Yashoda Rani, Purnamasi, Mukhara, and other Vajavasis were present in Dwarka. One day in this Navabrindavan, Krishna said to Radha, O oh dearest, what more can I do to make you happy? Sri Radha replied, Praneshwar, all the Sakhis of Raja, my cousin sister Chandravadi, my mother, uh, mother Vajeshwari, and everyone else came here. And I met with them. Nonetheless, my earnest request to you is to please leave the abode of opulence Dwarka and in your form as a fresh, youthful expert dancer, wearing the attire of a coward boy, sport with me in the Kunjas of Rajadam, the renowned land of eternal pastimes. So this wonderful pastimes now run down took place. Hmm. So you'll see that um, um, basically wherever Krishna goes, uh, there these gopis go and serve him. In Brit Bhagavatam Murtam, fourth uh, chapter, 110th verse, in second part of this lesson. Taryeva Sarvadya Shiromanim Brahum Vaigundanatham Kiranandanandanam Lakshvindaram Chatalayami Radhikam Chandravadim Chasavanam Prajarvakam At that moment, I began to see the crest jewel of all omniscient personalities, the Lord of Vaikuntha, in the form of Nandananda. I saw Lakshmi Devi as Radhika and Dharani Devi as Chandravali and all the other associates as covered. So basically, Lord Sri Gopakumar says there is no distress in Vaikuntha. However, when that play, when that pain swelled in my heart, Lord Vaikuntana understood my feelings right away. Then I saw that the Lord uh, himself appearing as Nandanandan, the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi, as Radhika. The goddess of earth, Dharani Devi, as Chandravali, the other associates as covered boys. This vision was not just my imagination, rather, Lord Vaikuntana, the crest jewel of all omniscient personalities understood my distress and manifested that, that form, thus gratifying me. This is because he is all powerful. So actually there you can see that in Vaikuntha also, Radharani and Chitravali serve him as Lakshmi Devi and Dharani Devi. And Krishna himself becomes Narayan. So there is obviously some competition. So here, <clears throat> Krishna Prema Bhavita Jandra Chitin Vya Kai Krishna Nija Shakti Radha Krida Rasai Krishna Prema, love for Lord Krishna, Bhavita Stipte, Jandra, whose Chitta body, Indriya senses, Kaya body, Krishna of Lord Krishna, 
निजे शक्ति हिज ओन एनर्जी राधा श्रीमद राधा रानी क्रीडार ऑफ पैस्टाइम्स सहाय और कंपनी हर माइंड सेंसेस एंड बॉडी आर स्टीप्ड इन लव फॉर शी इज कृष्णाज ओन एनर्जी एंड शी हेल्प्स हिम इन हिज पैस्टाइम्स श्रीमद राधा रानी इज एज फुल स्पिरिचुअल एज कृष्ण नो वन शुड कंसीडर टू बी मैचिंग शी इज डेफिनेटली नॉट लाइक द कंटिन्यूअस सोर्स Where material body is closer to the world, where material sense is, she is all spiritual, and both her body and mind are of the same spiritual and body. Because her body is spiritual, her senses are also spiritual. Thus, her body, mind, and senses fully shine in love of Krishna. She is the personified Ladini Shakti, the pleasure-giving energy of the Lord. In her internal potency, and therefore she is the only source of enjoyment for Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna cannot enjoy anything that is internally different from him. Therefore, Radha and Sri Krishna are identical. Identical. The Sandini portion of Sri Krishna's internal potency has manifested all attractive form of Sri Krishna, and the same internal potency in the Ladini feature has presented Shrimati Radhika Radha Rani. Who is the attraction for the all attractive? No one can match Shrimati Radha Rani in the transcendental pastimes of Sri Krishna. Ananda Chinmay Rasa Pratibha Kavya Stavidi Eva Nijarupa Taya Kalavi Goloke Eva Nivasatiya Kilat Mahuto Govinda Madhi Purusham Bhamba Jami Ananda Bliss Chit and Knowledge May consisting of Rasa Melos Prati at every second. Bhavi Tavi, who are engrossed with Tavi, with those, ya who eva certainly nija rupataya, with his own form, kalabhi, who are parts of portions of his pleasure potency, Goloka in Golok Vrindava, eva certainly nivasati sides, akhila atma as the soul of all, utaha who exists, Govindam Lord Govinda, Adi Purusha. Original personality, Tam, Him, Aham, I, Bajami, worship. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who resides in his own realm, Polo, with Radha, who resembles his own pleasure, own spiritual figure, and who embodies the ecstatic potency Ladini. Their companions are her confidantes, who embody extensions of her bodily form and who are viewed and permeated with ever blissful spiritual rasa. This is Text from Brahma Samhita 5.37. Krishna Rataraya Jaychi Rasa Aswadhan Tara Sahaya Jaychi Shuna Vivaran Krishna Re Antu Lord Krishna Taraya causes to do Jaychi Hau Rasa the Melos Aswadhana Krishna Kridara Aptasta Sahaya Jaychi Hau Shuna Please hear Vivaran the description Now please listen to how Lord Krishna's concerts help him taste rasa, and how they help him in his pastimes. Krishna Kanta Gana Dekhi Trivida Prakar Eta Lakshmi Gana Pure Mai Shiganar Prajan Gana Rupar Kanta Gana Saar Shri Radhika Ite Kanta Gana Ira Vista Krishna Kanta Gana The lovers of Lord Krishna Dekhi I see Trivida Tri Prakar. Three kinds. Eka one, Lakshmi Gana, the goddesses of fortune, pure, pure in the city, Rishi Gana, the queens, Ara and Vraja Angana, of the beautiful women of Raja Rupa, having the form Ara, another type, Kanta Gana, of the lovers, Sara, the essence, Chiradika Hite, from Srimati Radharani, Kanta Gana, of the lovers of Krishna, is Tara, the expansion. The beloved consorts of Lord Krishna are of three kinds: the goddesses of fortune, the queens, and the milkmaids of Raja, who are the foremost of all. These consorts all proceed from Radhika. So this is actually the truth here. Uma Rama Satya Shakti Chandra Rukmini Radha Avatara Sabe Amnaya. So they are all um, incarnation of Radha Rani. Krishna's consorts. So, Uma Rama Satya Shachi Chandra Rukmini Radha Avatara Sabe 
Anaya Vani. The revealed scriptures declare that Uma, Rama, Satya, Shachi, Chandravali, and Rukmini are all Radha's expansions. So, yes, yes, so everything coming from Radha. Hmm? Hmm. So, we'll stop here today, and uh, next time, uh, and now I'll be traveling on uh, 27th after the evening, 5 o'clock. So, 27th is Monday. So therefore, I will not be able to, I don't know, in Navadip um, classes, facility, what facility I will get there. So, um, but 27th, uh, I, we have a class actually, but I will not be able to conduct it because I will be in the train that time. And network is very shaky in the train. 28, I will again be traveling Tuesday. First, I will be reaching there first. Morning, I'll be reaching. Then Parikrama will begin. So, Hare Krishna. So, I'll not be able to give classes of British converts till I reach Navadip. And then I will let you know on day to day basis. So, thank you very much. Uh, but tomorrow I am free. Tomorrow is Saturday. And then 26th also I am free. Because 26th we have a regular class. Srimad Bhagavad Gita, that I will certainly give. And 25th, uh, if you want to arrange any class, you can let me know. Vishakha Didi. Hare Krishna. Amchara Parpapur Vrishya Krupaan Sindhu. Vaishnav Ebhyon. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Haan Pranam Didi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Dandavat Params Maharaj, thank you so much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.